Yes. Okay. So, Kishor Saipal, uh, have you started? Means uh, yesterday I have uh, given one assignment, right? Hello, am I audible? Ah, uh, yes, yes, coach. Okay, so have you started the assignment? Uh, do you feel any problem? Anything? Yes, it started. Okay, I'll discuss this after. Means I have some few slides that I want to discuss first. Okay, okay. then I and want to. Kosik, one thing uh, still we are getting issue when I am installing a React application. So have and you contacted you IT guys? Yeah, and my NPM is up to date. Okay, so after the session I can discuss. Okay, this thing. Okay. Because today I want to discuss some new things, so that's why, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the, my, uh, this slide is visible, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, first we have to know the difference between the functional component and the class component, right? Because uh few times we have to use functional component sometimes we have to use class component some basic difference between the class and functional component is there so i have jotted down some uh, points uh, for the differentiation of functional and class component first point is that using state inside component inside the class component we can use state but in the functional component we cannot use any state okay and for and the life cycle method the state has some life cycle method functional component we cannot use the life cycle methods we just use the function over there not any life cycle method but in the class component we can use life cycle method react has 10 to 12 life cycle methods that i have separate session over there for the life cycle methods but Till now, we can understand life cycle method is applicable in the class component. Okay. Third point is that using rep attribute on component. Rep means reference. That selector. Selector we have used in the jQuery or JavaScript. How? We can use the document dot get element by ID after that ID name and dot inner HTML. So we have to target the specific DOM element through the JavaScript and the jquery okay but in the react we have used ref attribute reference keyword okay ref ref attribute with this ref attribute we can target the document so functional component we cannot use ref is instead of ref it has some hooks means every functional component has uh, his own hooks so hooks basically they means uh, duplicate you can see for the class component the state state we can use in the class component but use state we can use in the function component so that's way we have to do and the fourth uh, difference is hooks hooks we cannot use in the class component but hooks we can use in the function component these are the four main things that we have to know that function component and the react a class component in react Still now any questions, any queries for this slide? Anybody please speak or confirm? Hello? No question. Okay. See, uh, this structure is the life cycle of uh, React. Uh, JSON. Yes, class life cycle methods only mm -hmm. applicable in the class component. Okay. okay, so life cycle session is there. So entire life cycle I can show you. Okay, how the life cycle method is working. But like he says, component did mount one life cycle method. Uske baad, uh, so component update, suit component update. These all life cycles. How and when it can be executed inside the React. That is a separate session over there. But still now we have to know that life cycle method only used in the class component. It is not applicable for the function component, right? Okay. So 
should I proceed with the next slide? Uh, yes, proceed. Okay. Uh, this thing, again I have to discuss the data flow of the React that component, component ke state, every component has own state and every component can the data for the life cycle that entirely scope to the state. Without state, we cannot get some data, we cannot update the data, okay? So this is our data flow react. I, 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 I think uh, this has been discussed, but still now, uh, if you have some problems or queries, you can ask me the same thing. Every You have to know that component ke state hota hai, and we can get the data from the props from the external component to the react okay and that is the event handling method inside the class based component how events are work inside the functional component how events are work that i have discussed over there so in the class based component you can see these dot handle click this is my event okay handle click is the event so i have where uh, the handle click event is attached in the event listener on click button on click on click is the event and event name or you can say the custom method that is handle click so i have add these dot handle click inside that uh, on click event and this has to be bind inside the constructor method otherwise inside the class based component your click event will not be executed if you will not do this this dot handle click does bind okay so inside the handle click bind we can get some data we can update it that's simple and in the function component, we can do it by that no normal on-click method. There is no any other thing that you have to use the on-click. Inside the on-click, you have to add some function, execute the function. Same thing over there. Okay. okay. So uh, is there any question for the event handler? So how the application... So modifiers, builds, it will go to the React DOM, React DOM to original DOM. So uh, this is the flow, okay, for the event handling. Every event, every execution that has to be notified in the React virtual DOM. And from the React virtual DOM, it has to go to the browser, the original DOM. Means the browser side, okay. So this way it can be worked. Mm, one second. Uh... Yes, yes. You can ask. Okay. Here, uh, button on click event, uh, you yes. just mention as an argument this dot handle click. So, handle this click is the mandatory. Is. Yes, and this is the mandatory means this handle click dot bind. If you use in the class component, okay. the button on click, if you are using in the class component, that time this has to be every uh, in, inside the constructor how bind is working, how many execution are there, this has to be notified. Okay. Okay. So this dot handle click dot bind. This means object, owner of the object. This okay. scope, it is scope, the local scope. It has to be like this method only execute and exist inside the class component. It has not been clicked from the outside of the class component. Okay. So okay. this way, this way it is right. This dot handle click dot bind this. This means owner of the object. Inside if we the are class, using the class component class component if you are using the class component then you have to if you write you could even try also okay if you okay. write you just write it cannot be worked until you can write this way otherwise you have to use the arrow functions over there so arrow function means directly you can use inside the on click event so same thing okay okay so my other question is here if we yes. are passing some specific data through the argument like argument really pass when we click pass, out, yes, yes, you can pass the handle click. Now, this is the method, okay? This is the uh, uh, actual method is there, handle click method, okay? 
Okay. The back end parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis, you can pass your argument. Sometimes you can get some data for input text, right? Some right. You, uh, you have some data, the value. Is that the input text? When you click the input text, the value you require, right? So handle mm -hmm. inside the handle click, you have to pass the params. As a parameter, you have to pass the argument. Okay. Currently, in my example, there is no argument passed. Normal parenthesis is there. You can pass the argument simply over there. Not an issue. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to some hands on part over there in my component. So yesterday I have sent some data.json, right? Create one data.json file. Okay. If you are working in ID, if you are working in uh, nor your normal React application, so you can do that. I have shown what, what I can achieve from there. Uh, yes, this thing, okay. These three blocks you have to render over there. So this is my file data. If the, in some cases, some scenarios data, you have to replicate inside your view, right? So data is there, external data. So in my use case, I am creating one data.json file. In the data.json file, some objects I have added, okay? Inside the array of objects, inside the array, I have added some objects, okay? And then question is how you can show it, how the array objects in the inside the map function, how it will work. So you can see. data okay so data i got from the data.json file hmm. the enter data if i go to the console log right You can see the data. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this data I can bind over here inside my uh, class component in the render function return. Okay. The return data dot map. Data is array of object, then map item. I got some iteration. And here I can use React step. Instead of React step, you can use any div also. Okay, not an issue. So inside the div, you can see that item dot image, whatever the properties over there, name, image, description, that has to be fine. So data dot map basically use inst uh, using instead of for loop. So we cannot use for loop, we can use data dot map and another point is key. Key is essential. If we remove this key, what happened? You can see. You can see this warning is coming. Each child in a list should have a unique key prop. That means when it renders inside the DOM, so it expects one new key ID, new, new key. You can use some date function. You can use some ID. So every content, like where it is coming, you can see. I just uh, undo and then So internally, it connects to the DOM, this value. If I, now you can see my 
error is gone. <coughs> key is essential. Key is attribute. Inside the key, you have to set some value. So node manager means the shadow DOM. He, it has to be notified that which key is there and how we have to render these three elements. So you can see uh, these things. Call 12, call assemble. The three div is rendered. Okay. If you add one more uh, data, so automatically it will create another block. New block is created. Is there any questions? Hello? So guys, have you tried yourself? You see? I you can do this thing. Now I want to see another uh, thing over there. Like app.js, right? Inside the app.js, multiple component I have used. Means my every component I have created uh, and then export and then simple I have add the import command. So one more thing that is very essential that is your flops validation but before that uh, create one element just a minute state one state i have to create okay
Yes, you can see this state is uh, this new component uh, is coming in the uh, I have added in the state, right? Okay. Now constructor. Props. What is a super? A super, you can say it's a keyword of a, a inherent to the other methods. Okay, that means in the constructor, I have add props, right? And super means I'm giving one example like we have two classes, right? Class A, class B, right? Now one class, one minute, class A, some method and some properties. Okay. Yes. Class B. Okay. Now, class C. There's some method. There's some props. Okay. Now I create one object. New object make class. Uh, I have used the class C. Okay. This object I am to create, but I can I want to use its method and class B ka property and class A ka property. Three in mila ke if I want to get some data object, that time super keyword is used. So it is come inside the component. I have used the constructor. Okay, in the constructor I use some props. So first tell me this props is coming from where. Hello. Yes. Yes. Uh, these props 
is coming from where? I have not used anything over there, right? This this prop is coming from react dot component. So inside the method, it has some prop. These props, it's a global props of React. Okay. Super means inside the super keyword, we can add those props in our component if it's required. Means in the next example, I can see we have used some objects, creating some object with class C. So class C ka kuch methods hai, some properties hai. With this method, I want to use class A ka method, class B ka method. These two things I want to use and combine one object. That time super is coming. Okay. Hello. Okay. Have you question from that? Yes. Yes. Tell me what the question. <laughs> How to decide a super which class property they are they provide means it look, look like a confusion. Uh, so we cannot use right now the super property. Okay, it is um, it will be used in the next component that is not using over there. Just keyword you have to mention. Okay. If you mention, you cannot. That's your choice. But I have used that. Okay. 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 So super keyword. Kajo, you can use or not, not an issue, but maybe it uh, creating combined object from the class C and class B. So we can use these properties. Okay. So this is the state, okay? Yes, sir. State. Yes. Hello. You can see it's coming from where uh, your state in state is a global object. We have used this state over there, right? And add some keyword session and there are some values. So multiple things we can use over there. Now you can see some errors are coming, right? The errors are coming because React always used in the wrapper component. It has some wrapper. It requires some wrapper. So you have to wrap. So one process I can tell you how we can wrap it quickly. That is called fragment. Okay. So React dot fragment. Now see the error is gone. We can use div. First we have to use div over here, okay? Then I use fragment. First we have to use div. What happened? If we render two value I got React JS and MAD, MAD, okay? Inside the div is our wrapper. Inside the wrapper, two divs are coming. You can see, right? Now I want to use react dot fragment. See, 
same thing is coming right in the deep yes sir so whenever you want to wrap something multiple deep multiple span or multiple tag is required so our application it's required so it is a combination of many divs many span many block element so you have to wrap this way okay the shortcut of fragment is there if you not interested to write the react dot fragment you can use this thing. same thing this is a shortcut actually uh, this is code based fragment uh, yes this is code based uh, fragment uh, means uh, you can't use some uh, html fragment to use uh, you can use the html na d by i have used earlier na deep tag mm -hmm. i have used deep tag so yes. instead of deep you can use react dot fragment so the difference between the deep and react dot fragment react dot fragment internally linked with the dom okay. browser dom okay it has no effect in the real dom but you write the div so div is rendered over there but the react dot dom internally renders and return a div towards the application so that's why many developers are prefer react dot fragment instead of div yeah. okay so if i not use then and then you can see some error are coming. But error are showing. Yes. JSX inter intrinsic element dot div. Okay. Must have one parent element. It clearly says JSX expressions must have one parent element. So you have to add one element over there. Wrapper. Basically, it's called a wrapper. You have to wrap to your div. Okay. Any questions? No. Uh, yes. Uh, in constructor, there is a box. What it does? Why you are yes. writing? In constructor, yes. there is a box. Why you are writing this? This one, right? Yes. So it's a, it's a global prop. Means, if this class I have used, okay, state component. Okay. So every so in the state component, if from uh, we, 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 this is my welcome component, and if I send some data from welcome component to my state component, how it can react, how it can interlink, so it can be interlinked through the prop. So every component ka jo class component hai, uska constructor mein ek props hai. So props is global. It can, if you console log, you can see what the props are coming. Empty, right? It's a prototype. Prototype means some it, it has some own property, some constructors to string to local string. This might be used inside instead of inside this prototype. Prototype means blueprint of the object. Okay. So every object has its own prototype. Okay. So by default, props ka koi value amne add nahi kiya hai, kisi or tha, right? So that's why it's showing empty. So props also an object. Okay. Now, what I will do, I can create another component inside the state block. Same way, I will I will create one class
okay export it okay now what i will do i will send some props from this component to state One minute. Okay, correct. The app just makes him cut. Like I have created this state also over there. Uh, yes. So I'll pass my props to be equal to. First, I'll add some value. You can see props is updated, right? So this value it automatically update in the props, my props. So any name you can send over there. Okay. So from the app dot js, I have uh, up, uh, input this component state component and inside the state component is simply pa pass these props so you can pass any number you can pass any object also now i am pass i am passing one thing this this one this dot state okay what happened now you can see performance and profession this updated so this props is a global any component ka jo constructor hai, usme props is stated okay you can get the props over there so props is automatically updated from the you can see from the app.js I have seen some data and that data is automatically updated over here, right? Okay. Uh, it's like a service. No, it's not like a service. It's a service means you have to create one service. So um, that service in no. props is property, state and object that nothing but okay html ka jo property hota hai we are using some properties right inside the custom prop okay any name you can share it okay whatever the name is there the same name is reflected inside the props element okay okay now Question is how a uh, now you have to show this data. Okay, this is my props name. Go over there. Here props you can get right. Profession UI.
or I can go over there. I can see UI is coming, right? Yes. So create my data in another component and get the data in the other component. So how the passing the data from one component to other, that is the way, okay? Through the props. Okay. Now you have group of objects, right? Same thing you have to do, like uh, I have showing you over there in my... Uh, this thing so data dot map right one thing uh, go your go to your uh, state One minute. Expected. What's the problem? Hmm. Yes, now these dot plus dot. Hello, bar. Oh. Performance. Yeah. Item. See what I mean. Good and bad. These two value come right. Yes. Now you can see for I have created uh, one object and there are two values are the good and bad and these values come right. 
Is it clear? Hello. We learn conclusion. No problem, sir. And uh, have you tried this thing? Uh, whatever I send you. Uh, I created one JSON file data dot JSON. I'm fetching that data. So can you can anybody show how much you can try that I want to see? I I'll sharing. I stop my presentation. I am not using this process, but uh, no, I, I have I have added in the group. Yes. Yeah. Just uh, today I have created uh, data dot js file and then uh, put in put the array and the JSON array and then after that uh, app dot js uh, import sorry just import the json array and so mapping the key and value here so mm -hmm. can i show my screen yes 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 you can see i will refer one example just so yesterday you told me so first one uh, Create the data dot js js file. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and uh, export constant the uh, stock mode stock stock data. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and after use uh, app dot js like uh, import stock data uh, value. Yes. And then then showing the stock uh, sorry uh, showing the uh, uh, sorry mapping the data. Yes. So ID name or URL or description. So, like this no, and one component division task I am sending out, right? Yeah, yeah. When I, header, header, footer. Yes, yes, I will show. Yeah. So, yeah. this is my JSON data, and then uh, I have created a header and footer view. So, this is my header view, and uh, mm. this is my footer view. So, so can, you, can anybody open the assignment, whatever I sent you yesterday? So in the Google Drive, I have shared the link, right? This was the egg one. No, 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 no. Scroll, scroll up. This one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, go yes. to the Google Drive. Google. Uh, go, go to the sheet. Uh, click this one. Click this one. Yes. Yeah. Up the uh, download all the things. The download the enter HTML, okay? Yes, yes. Actually, uh, I yeah i took this example but i uh, i am not understand so what is this what actually i am not understanding this example so okay can you just wait uh, download enter file this is the total file set okay download it download click download yes Yeah. 
एक्सट्रैक्ट और ओपन द इंडेक्स डॉट एस टी एम फाइल कैन यू ओपन इट क्रोम नाउ इट्स कमिंग दिस पेज आई सेंट यू फॉर सेपरेट इन इन द रिएक्ट कंपोनेंट ओके सिंपल एस्टिमेल फाइल You have oh. to convert in the React theme, okay? So can you can anybody told how you have to do this this approach? Because you have to do it by yourself, okay? If any help is needed, please tell me. I will definitely help you. Not an issue, but. What is your approach? How can you do that? Is your sample? Uh, I'm just crossing. Actually, this is the sample flow of uh, HTML view. Mm. Uh, Go to the yeah. HTML. Uh, yes. Open this file in the code. Yes, code. In yes, code. Yes, yes. Can I open directly folder or? Yes, yes, even directly. Not any issue. I want to see the index dot HTML in your VS Code. Okay. Index dot HTML. Hmm. This. This is index HTML page. Hmm. So. some navigation part is there right some logo yes. part is there so this is your header okay so this is my header part yes nav is there navigation part is there oh. after that your container part is there so header should be one component navigation oh. comes another component both are combined and it will come the wrapper component so this way you have to create okay creating the components inside the component add some js file inside the js then you can make basically if you will do that that means you can able to separate your html to react components that i want to see okay so i hope monday you have to you all have tried right you see yes yes please do it okay otherwise yeah. means your this concept will be very clear if your until your hands will not be dirty in the any coding until you can that that my that much of insight you cannot get from your sessions a session so okay that is my understand okay then i share my screen yes 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 and i have sent many things in the group so that that might be follow at a same time okay only one hour time we cannot cover all the thing but yes yes i have seen some materials also okay inside the group so that might be helpful okay who is sharing the screen say pull right yes yes okay 
and uh, still i am getting issue yes, tell me what the issue oh this uh, your installation issue right yes okay okay that is the separate thing and i will uh, means have you discussed in the it guys this problem no it's just uh, show me npm oh. install Sorry. Self sign, it's showing that self sign certificate is missing. Okay. From the NPM or your version. Can you show the version? Version is already good, not an issue. And uh, what is the NPM version? Can you show NPM version? Uh, Oh, that might be okay, not an issue. How to resolve? I'm searching on inter uh, internet. They some give me some command. No, no, no. Is a self sign certification is missing. It's showing that uh, your reason self sign certificate in certificate chain. Okay. So can you uh, means your inst installation is totally pending, right? Your React app not. Going to yes, install, yes, right? yes, whatever I am doing on online editor, ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. because we can't use some local file, JS file here. Okay, so after the session, I will connect. Okay, that okay. will be good. I have some that means this certification chain I have to update or install. Okay. Yeah. Just one more thing I can discuss before going to complete. Uh, this day, this oh, one slide I just discussed, and tomorrow the I will show it demo. Okay, the, the demo will be tomorrow or next session. But discuss this thing. This is also Asian cell. Have you uh, got my screen? Yes, yes. My screen. <clears throat> so, this is the diagram for your API call. How you have to call your API, right? This is very essential. <clears throat> so, uh, you can see that we have three methods. Okay. Either we can use fetch. Either we can use Axios or either we can use Ajax. Between three methods, we can use any of them. So this is my entire diagram. Okay. So like React API calling. So response from fetch means some data I can get from the response uh, when I fetch the fetch we will use. We can use Axios. Then you can see. Inside the function component, we have write this way, right? Fetch URL dot then is a callback method. Inside the callback method, I can use this way and get some data. Same thing in the class based component, we can use component did mount. So component did mount is a lifecycle loop. Inside the lifecycle loop, we can update the data. Okay. The data when I call the API, the API calling so with the server. I hope in the Angular you have also did the same thing, right? In the Angular you have created some services. From the services you can call the API. From the API you can get some data like ng on in it, ng on changes. Some methods are there. Some five second hooks are there. So in the React also the same way we have to do. Uh, we have to do this comp this 
API calling. So I have some mock API response that I can share with the next session. And then this API calling, we have to how the consume how to consume in a code base that I can show you. Okay. And create some data, create some table over there. This I am to show you. Okay. Okay, Is there any question regarding that? Any API calling related things? Pardon? API calling related thing. Is there any question? No. When we study, then I will ask you. Okay, okay. So this is the structure where I have to create and we have to consume the data. Okay. okay. So the authentication should be there auth guard also be there how we can use that we can go go through that part auth guard react is using no not auth guard is there state update bulking method that we can use over there i can show you how okay. it, it will work so okay. the it requires two to three days the api calling and the thing is one crude operation also be there one more thing also be there that i can discuss okay okay and I can uh, send some notes in, in your group that you can to follow simultaneously. Okay. Okay. Yes, uh, Shweta, hello. Kausik, one second. Can I share yes. my screen? Yes, 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 yes. 